Red Hood's true motives for joining Catwoman's side over Batman's in the Gotham War could turn him into the storyline's most important wildcard. The Red Hood has played a unique role in the Gotham War storyline. While most of the Bat family are openly conflicted about the conflict further pushing Batman and Catwoman apart, Jason Todd seems to throw his full weight behind Selina Kyle and her plans for Gotham's future. Initially, this made sense given Red Hood and Catwoman's shared perspective on the world and unique perspective on street-level crime. But it turns out he's been playing the long game all along and has actually been quietly positioned against her. The Gotham War. Red Hood Hash One reveals that Jason Todd, despite openly claiming to be working alongside Catwoman, has actually been using her efforts to reinvent Gotham's criminal underworld to further his own goals. On top of that, he actually doesn't believe Catwoman can save the city this way and actually agrees with Batman and Robin's assessment of justice and crime. It's a startling discovery that could upend the Gotham War further and throw a serious wild card into the conflict. But given Batman's recent actions against Red Hood, the caped crusader might have jeopardized any chance of actively working alongside Red Hood to halt the chaos. Let me provide an explanation of Jason's true motivations. In the Gotham War, the Bat family has been splintered by the events of the Gotham War, with Catwoman's proposal for a form of acceptable crime bristling against Batman's hard-nosed black-and-white approach to justice. Most of the Bat family has been conflicted over the event, acknowledging the positive impact Catwoman's work is having on Gotham's streets, like giving former henchmen a way to escape the cycle of supervillain violence while still wrestling with the implications of allowing any crime to continue unabated. However, two former sidekicks have made their views very clear. Damian Wayne has been vocal in supporting his father's argument, even fighting the rest of the Bat family alongside Batman. Meanwhile, Red Hood has seemingly embraced Catwoman's methods and has gone as far as to help train some of her pupils. However, the Gotham War, Red Hood Hash One, undercuts this by revealing Jason's true motivations. While training two of Catwoman's new students, Jason Todd peppers them with questions about their time working under the Joker. Catwoman confronts Jason about this at the end of the issue, revealing that she knows he's been using his place by her side as an opening to interrogate criminals about their past jobs with villains. It turns out Red Hood only joined Catwoman as a means of getting dirt on villains like the Joker. Catwoman's attempts to insult him over this leaves Jason furious as he explains he truly believes the criminals are still culpable for their crimes and that actively training them will just make matters worse. Jason is helping train them because he thinks they'll eventually return to their former roles as minions, more dangerous for their time under her wing. At least this way, he has intel on all the criminals before they become dangerous again, a potentially perfect tool to target them down the road. It seems like Jason secretly has no faith in Catwoman's plans and it could be the biggest turn for the Gotham War going forward. Let's ask, what do Red Hood's actual arguments mean for the Gotham War? Jason's argument is notably similar to the one voiced by Damian Wayne in the event. The pair both believe that the criminals trained by Catwoman will eventually return to their benching ways, only with far more skills than they had previously. But while Damian uses this solely as an argument against working with Catwoman, Red Hood sees the opportunity to spy on Gotham's criminal element and get a bead on which ones to keep an eye out for. In theory, this is the most effective blow against Catwoman's arguments, effectively a backup plan in case the criminals do return to their former lives as henchmen. It's exactly the kind of play Batman would want from a double agent, and Red Hood did such an effective job fooling everyone that even the Dark Knight believed Jason had sided with Selina. It speaks to Jason's commitment to helping Gotham and getting revenge on villains like Joker, as he's willing to burn bridges with his former mentor once again if it means gaining an edge against the people who endanger it. While Jason and Selina still work together well, it also seriously undercuts their alliance and could threaten his place within Catwoman's vision for Gotham's future. It also undercuts any chance the former Robin could have in helping Gotham's criminals become more capable people. The problem is that it might be too late for Batman to salvage Jason's actions. In Catwoman 56, Batman specifically targeted Red Hood as a high-value enemy. Batman's actions have seen him injure and capture Red Hood, potentially setting up a darker turn for the former Robin going forward while in Batman's care. The fact that Red Hood was secretly on Batman's side makes the turn all the more tragic, as the Dark Knight embraces the aid of long-term enemies. 
he makes sure to bring down his allies even when they're secretly working in conjunction with his goals. It speaks to the unstable nature of Batman in the Gotham War, as he struggles to maintain control over the Batman of Zurinar's personality. Jason's true motivations in the Gotham War, Red Hood No. 1 invert Batman's actions against a rebellious ally, and instead may have cost him one of the few former partners who was actively working towards the same goal. This could further damage Batman's chances of winning any allies back over to his side as Catwoman is willing to beat down people even working towards his goals.